Hey, what's up, turtles? It's Crick here with Black Eye Outdoors. And today I'm going to be doing a video on how to put up a ridge line. And specifically, my intention putting up this ridge line is going to be in use conjunction with a tarp. Um, but you can put a ridge line up if you wanted to have a clothesline between two fixed points. Anything really your imagination can think of of why you'd want a piece of quarters between two fixed points. But like I said, specifically while I'm out here, I picked these trees at the distance I have to put up a tarp. I'm going to start now putting the ridge line up on the one tree I've chosen. <clears throat> and for this side of the ridge line, I'm going to use a, a Siberian hitch because it's a quick release. It's really popular. People like it for that reason. Um, in my experience, I've noticed that sometimes paracord is not the best, which I'm using some paracord here. It's not the best for knots and hitches just because sometimes it's uh, finicky, doesn't want to hold tight, all that you know, bad stuff. But I'm going to use it here. I'm going to try to make it work for the video. And I've already done a video on how to do um, a Siberian hitch, excuse me. So if you really want to see the, the ins and outs of it, you can check out that video. I want to make sure this is clean. I'm going to mess with it. Like I said, this paracord is always not the best, sometimes not the best for a particular knot or hitch. See it there, it already wants to move a little bit, so I'm gonna spend a little more time working with it. And you know, these are just the way things go when you're out here putting up, you know, camp, messing around. There's trial and error involved in the in the actual moment when you're trying to do something, it might not go specifically how you want, exactly how you want. So a little bit of problem solving skills come into play. All that stuff that comes with practice. You see right there it wants to come out. Which one is that coming? So I want to tighten up this one. Tighten up that one. <clears throat> Once it works itself out, good to go. So obviously you see it wasn't as quick as a Siberian hitch can be and that I'm attributing that to the paracord, but with a little bit of working, really trying to problem solve of why the, the hitch doesn't want to stay, I got it to a good spot. Pick up my paracord, walk it over to my other tree without dragging the rest of the forest with me. And on this side, I'm going to use this, a sort of a system for tensioning, going around the tree a few times. Um, I haven't done a video on this, so I'll try to go a little bit slower. You can sort of understand the physics behind it, what it's actually doing. Just trying to make sure it's level. So I'm going to wrap it around one side. Bring the rest of my <clears throat> ridge line around. Sort of torque on it, pulling it around, keeping tension on it now. I want to go under here. The rest of it. I'm maintaining pressure by holding it the way I am. I'm not letting uh, tension go off the line. Pull it, throw it over, and sort of bring this around now. And that's going to pull the ridge line tight to this tree. I'm going to do that one more time. Come around. Go over one more time and really secure the ridge line now with this series of sort of wraps around the tree. I'm not even sure exactly what you want to call it. And once I get my static line here, or excuse me, my tag end in my hands, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go under through. <clears throat> Here. Pull that through just to help take tension off now so I can let it go with my hand. You can see it's hanging right here. Good to go. I'm going to put a couple of half hitches in on the end here just to keep this secure with the tag line in the half hitch. Just going to go over here, sort of put this, I got this loop here. Drag the tag end through once. It sort of creates this looking looking thing. I tighten it down on it. That's one. I'll do one more. And now that's really secure. And it's not a quick release, um, but for the sake of sort of bomb proofing, you know, one side of the, the ridge line, these half hitches are good for that. Like I said, it's not quick release, but I really don't care for the peace of mind to know that if a really crazy storm comes through, wind, rain, any of that stuff, that with the shaking, 
the ridge line shaking and all that that I know um, my anchor points are going to be pretty strong and secured secured really well. And this is basically the ins and outs of putting up a ridge line. You can use different types of anchors, use your imagination for different types of hitches and knots for particularly um, anything you want. But for this video, I've chose uh, just to use these two for demonstrative purposes. Hope this is helpful. And this is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors, Later Turtles.